Hello everyone. So today I was looking at this uh, post on the Atlassian community about uh, change calendar. Now, this post has been uh, posted by Gabriel and uh, Gabriel is talking about uh, this new feature on Jira service management about uh, this change calendar and I believe uh, the idea here is to have this uh, view of all the issues on the calendar and uh, this is talking about by the way changes and i believe this makes sense because if you are let us say uh, working on uh, itsm processes where you have uh, uh, normal change standard change or whatever kind of change emergency change for example you want to have them listed on on a calendar so you can see or your team can see that these are the, these are the changes for example let us say if i'm responsible for uh, I, I don't know, patching something or maybe I have to update or upgrade my operating system or database version or whatever, any change that can impact uh, a lot of people. So I think it can be definitely very useful. Talking about changes, of course, uh, um, you may have dates already in your Jira service management, change management issue types. But uh, with this particular feature, I believe uh, you can easily also visualize them. And of course, we'll take a look. I'll take a look at my instance of Jira service management. Now, I was looking at this uh, this post. I think it makes sense. Uh, the post has details of uh, what all you can do. You can not only create, but you can also edit and uh, uh, re reschedule the changes from the calendar. So let us see how it works. And schedule changes from the issue view. And uh, what else? Um, so I think when you're looking at the issue, you can also do something with those changes. I think there is a button here and it is quite simple. So what, I, what I'll do, I'll probably take a look at this project. So here I do have this uh, change calendar and uh, let me just you know, try to, I'll just try to do something here. Uh, by the way, it will let you, I mean, this change calendar will show you the items from all the, all the projects, which can be useful, I guess. And uh, you can do some filtering on top, makes sense. You can also filter by status and also by service if you have service configured. So if you have to schedule something, let us say, let us say next uh, week, uh, you may have uh, uh, some kind of, let me just move my face on top. Okay, so let us say you may have uh, an upgrade on uh, 26th of June. So maybe I can do something like this, like I can drag the items or I mean, I can make this box or maybe something will start on Friday and it will go all the way till Saturday. So it can have like, it can span across multiple days. So let us do that. If I do this here, uh, I can uh, hopefully create a new issue. So uh, I think l let us do something this week. So let us say this week, I want to update my portal of course it is not really i mean it's just a fake change i'm not really going to update my portal just for the sake of this video and you can select the type on top but i think it is something called a request for change so basically you are creating a change uh, right from your calendar view otherwise you can also i believe uh, manage it when you're working on the change the main thing i believe is this, this is this information so plan start date and plan end date and uh, I believe this, this is what you need because these are the two dates. So if you create this, it will of course create the issue and it will hopefully display something on the calendar. So request saved, but not visible. I don't know why, but because I can see it anyways. So let us click on it. And if, and if you click on it, you can see here, I, I believe the information, which is fine. I guess uh, just like a calendar, you can also change the duration if you need to, which is quite good. It is a bit like what you can do with of course, your uh, Google Calendar. You can, of course, move the dates, but um, I mean, move it from one date to another date, or maybe span it across a couple of uh, days. So I, I like it. I think it is definitely useful. Let us open this issue. I guess I can open it um, if I want. Let me just try to open the issue. So there is one issue key, Ravi-70, and uh, this is the issue. I'll get rid of the sidebar and uh, and uh, you also have this button on top by the way schedule change and uh, let us see what happens if I click on it so if you click on it oh nice really good it will open this uh, 
this calendar for you right within the issue which is amazing i think it is definitely uh useful so can we can we do something here okay oh no so basically here you can uh, modify those things if you want so you can change the information uh i believe uh, by simply selecting the dates on the on the calendar and the planned date and the planned end date start and end date will of course uh, change I, i like it i think uh, it is definitely useful let us save it and uh, when you of course save it of course you can expect things to update on the fly so quite quite happy with this feature and uh, and uh, thank you very much atlassian for implementing this i think uh, people will appreciate so that is all i wanted to talk about in this uh, in this uh, video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye